Hello. Welcome to this video tour of the birdhouse. I'm Feather, Red Feather, uh, or 99 Red Dragons. And I did this build, and the original design was by Imorphemy. Now, if you don't already know, this is for the uh, birdhouse, which is a RP location in the Hermit Citizen Hub of for avians to hang out in, uh, to relax, talk to friends, have food, and all that. So as you can see, it's built into a giant house, a giant uh, tree. So there are multiple floors to this thing, and as you can see, we have, let's just do an outside view at first. We have a large staircase that winds up and many little towers and ladders and things. This is in Snapshot uh, 2318. So there are cherry leaves. We get cherry leaves. So of course, uh, I use cherry wood, cherry leaves, and lots of other things uh, for one point, or uh, <laughs> for 1.20, yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's start. We have uh, an infirmary, kitchen, and a springs on the first level, and here's here it is. So these first three levels are accessible to uh, anyone without wings. Uh, use welcome at the birdhouse, of course. Uh, we've got this kitchen, which also doubles as the infirmary with healing regen, food, uh, herbs and you know a table and a sink and everything you would need in a kitchen and extra wood for this big brick oven and over here there are lots of little plants growing so uh people at the birdhouse can grow herbs for cooking or maybe just extra food that they might need around, or maybe some birds have special diets. We have a little axolotl who's chilling in the hot spring. This is both a place to, uh, this is both the same spring that is, uh, this is both from the spring that supplies the clean drinking water, and it is a lovely bird bath. And also, a great place to land, so you don't hurt yourself. Alright. Let's go up to the second floor. So the second floor is the, uh, the living room. The living room has couches, a place to play games, uh, do art projects, maybe? Not sure what this is. <laughs> so there's game storage, there's couches, and there's some bird friends hanging out in the treehouse, you'll see. And of course we have this lovely hanging bench chair, uh, which I think is kind of like a hammock as well. You'll see throughout a lot of the builds these hanging signs, uh, which of course are new in the snapshot. And in my mind, I imagine them to be like those wooden block bird toys for, you know, chewing, playing, whatever <laughs> you might need. Maybe just something to scratch. Alright. So, that's the living room. I love the view that it has on, down onto the first floor. And let's go to the third floor. Now on the third floor, we have the bunk room. This is a room for sleepovers, naps, just relaxing. Uh, anything a bird could need. Uh, we have some hammocks for those who might like to sleep in a hammock instead of, you know, on a bunk bed. Uh, it's, there's a, a desk over here, some other perches, and a beanbag chair. Now, the last two floors up here 
are not accessible if unless you have wings, pretty much. Uh, there's no ladder to get up there or stairs. Uh, but if you're a bird and you can fly, it's not a big deal. All right, so, uh, hello? <laughs> what, what, is he following me? Sir, no, go back to your water. Oh no, anyway, um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Next we have this small little mailbox in case the treehouse receives any mail. We have this lovely tire swing, but many Evians could fit in and chill out in. There are lots of platforms on the way up here that an Evian looking to just have some fun could jump between. And we have our first landing here with, you know, just some potted plants and a nice view. And here we come onto our first little building with, of course, lots of plants. A nice place to sit and enjoy the cherry blossoms. And a cherry roof. Next we have on the third landing, second building, <laughs> the trellis room, which I quite love. It's full of these cherry blossoms all the time and there's a few places to sit and just enjoy the tree and this room leads straight up into the atrium now across the way is the exit a ladder in case you don't have wings or you just need a way up and you don't want to walk up the stairs because you can't fly at the moment <laughs> Now, in the atrium, we have this large glass dome and a big tree in the middle. And, of course, amenities include lots of lots of couches to sit on, lots of potted plants, and a big old table for group meals, for playing games, for eating. You know, what a table is used for. <laughs> now, across the way, we have a small more slightly more private area to chill in uh, and you could even drink your coffee and tea down here which you can get up here in this one of the towers so up here we have it's kind of cafe like but uh, if there's an actual avian running a cafe up here um, I don't know who that is but maybe anyway <laughs> These are, there's just some storage for some uh, brewed drinks, coffee, tea, and just a place to chill out. And of course, both of these towers have a little landing slash takeoff pad. And back down to the main atrium. There is... Uh, I... I forgot to tell you about these banners, so I didn't design these banners. Uh, a uh, YouTube video I found, or er, someone who makes banners and uh, posted these lovely uh, designs in a video uh, made them, and I will link that in the description for you to go check out. There's lots of other bird designs there. And then we have the telescope uh, observatory in the other tower. So up here is a nerd's paradise. We have a couch to sit in, a clock to watch the time. Maybe you've got a meteor shower coming up you want to see. Books and places to store maps, a telescope, and the uh, viewing uh machine no <laughs> the viewing thingy <laughs> in order to see uh out of the telescope um and watch the stars and of course another takeoff pad 
Now, that might seem like it's all that there is to the uh, atrium, um, but there's also these landing pads that have uh, powdered snow under them. So that uh, so that anyone landing doesn't have to crash land, which I gather we have had quite a few of. However, uh, if you know about the library, and you probably... However, if you know about the library, and you probably saw it if you have been inside, you'll know that there is a way to get in through the top, which if you have an elytra, you can land in, like so. <laughs> Uh, and of course you could also fly in from the bottom. Uh, so here's the library. Um, this is just a cozy place to study, maybe make records, maybe, you know, whatever a citizen who needs a library could use it for. It's a nice and comfy place with lots of knickknacks and some little cubby holes that are inside the branches of the tree where you can study. Uh, of course there, it's a bit cramped in some places, but this is one of my favorite places in the tree house. And that pretty much concludes our tour. We can go back down to the kitchen and return to the entrance. We can do one last little overview of the entire outside. And the uh, tree in all its glory. I hope that you guys like the build and can use it in your RPs and your lore and, you know, just use it as a community and enjoy it.